Hello guys, welcome to the world of gaming. This is your host, the furriest of the most, the gaming dude. Bringing this video out to you on a Saturday, I know, completely shocking for me as a coon. But anyways, No Man's Sky just received its, fur its update on Friday. And before we get into things on what has changed, as you can see, we gotta start from the main screen. Before we get to that, I would like to give a huge welcome to Nintendo Switch players. Now, they can play this fabulous game with unending possibilities and an adventure that they have yet to see. I mean, a game world so vast, so big, that they're going to get lost. Stay tuned to the end of the video, too. I've got a little thing I am going to do for the Nintendo Switch players. So, anyways, as you can see, even the main screen has changed. They did, Hello Games has done a fantastic job with this game. This game had some very good major league ui updates and we'll get into more of that first one into this is we'll go to play game just show you and we'll go down here and we will start a new game now as you see this has completely changed you now have normal relax creative community expedition custom and survival so many more options under custom there you go you can set your game up how you want to play it not just oh with these presets you can use presets to get them up here normal creative relax survival from a death but under normal, if you just keep it on normal, you scroll down, as you can see, a lot of options now in this. So you can create your own challenge. I mean, survival elements. You select the level of everything in this. Okay? And it does come over, if you look on the right side, it does explain each thing. Now, the, uh, from a death one, you have the save delete. And this means when you die, your save is gone. You're not getting it back. And then they got challenging option for each one. And fuel usage, crafting, blueprints. You can have them all unlocked or you can learn them as you go. Uh, purchases from the Active Trade Network. You can even go as far as do it setting it up or expensive. I mean, so many things you can do in this. Inventory stack limits. You can have your inventory capped at a certain stack. Your enemies, you can have them any which way. They can be challenging, they can be hostile, they can give you a challenge. Um, all the way down to basically your use of everything, you know? And, and you can change this on the fly. Show you that. Let me boot up our game and I will see you guys in our game. Okay guys, welcome back. We're in our game. Let's go ahead and call in our freighter. And let's get up into our freighter. Ah, 
Alrighty, we're on the bridge of, my fre of our freighter, and let's go for some of the things they've done. They have done so much. Not only do, now we're going to get more, even more players, because of N Nintendo Switch. They've even did some UI overhauls. Right here, you can tell this is completely different than what it was before. You had tabs up here that you could switch between things. They got rid of the tabs. So the top sections are technology. The bottom is your uh, uh, inventory. And this is just a starship. This whole thing out here is where we can expand to on there. And as you can see, I can scroll down and get even more slots for my ship. And this is the cargo bay. I can get even more in this. It's just increased your storage completely, which has been awesome. And then you got filters over here. Raw materials. The raw materials are the only ones highlighted. High valuable items. Those are the only things that are highlighted. Consumables. Installable tech. It just makes it easier. So if you're looking for something you got and you knew it was an installable tech, you just hit that filter. And those are the only things I like to help make it easier for you to find everything. Now let's go over to our person's inventory, our exosuit. Look at that. This is our technology area. We have tons more space. That means we can add most of our technology into this area. Nice thing I've noticed they did is they actually put percentage bars. There's no more like little bar at the bottom. Everybody remembers we had these little bars at the bottom. There's no more of that. They actually give you a percentage. Now the top thing is if you already had a save game, they repackaged all your stuff. <laughs> so you've got to go through it on package stuff. Um, but as you can see, even our own personal inventory, we had our personal inventory, then we had a cargo. They combined it into one now, so you get the full thing. The salvage frigate modules. The graphic icon for that has been updated dramatically. I mean, it's so much more beautiful now. But you can tell the overlay was meant for touchscreen, because they have to kind of... If, if you don't know what Nintendo Switch is, it's an OLED screen. So they kind of have to make it visible. I mean, the numbers are bigger now. For us older players, trust me, there's a few of them out there. I know there is. It, it tells you. Like, it tells you the max stack size you can have and how many is in that stack. I mean, it's just... They did such a wonderful job on this. Our freighter same way but it also includes your storage containers um you got your core which is okay here's your tech and then here's your storage your cargo it's expandable by a lot which is awesome that means you can hold more stuff our storage containers look how much more our storage containers can hold now i mean Right where these items are at, that was it. That was the biggest area you could have. I mean, navigational data, I just noticed. They changed the icon. Now look, and this was something that was huge because you would fill that up really quick. In all your storage containers. Massive amounts of space, which is awesome. Um some of these in the freighter and which they can allow it since you're on the ship to move to the storage container but apparently they won't yeah as you can see they don't have that so that could be a bug don't know I hope it is I hope it's something they can fix um but yeah I mean all this space now you get, like I said, as you can see, I can get more space. Even our multi-tool. 
we got more space. So we can add all those specific unique objects. We can make our multi-tool even more powerful. As you can see, I'm only in Class C and I do have 4,700 DPS. That is insane. I mean, they did such an incredible job with this. Um, let's get an anomaly. So, with that, I mean, a complete update to inventory, which is something a lot of people has been asking for, mainly for the storage box, not across the whole thing. Now, for the ships, the tech, oh my god, that's a little too much. I mean, you can see it cut back. I mean, you can have darn near a hundred. Um, let's see if I can't can a ship real quick. That's alien. I mean, if you look at it, 90 plus 21 plus 42. I mean, that's a lot. Um, it looks like they did add a little bit more information, like you can check the hyperdrive range, maneuverability, damage potential. Um, another ship over here, let me see if I can. Now, nah, see, I can't get the couple off it. But, wow. Um, incredible amount of storage now for everything. Your ship, your storage units, your freighters, everything. Which means, I mean, that's more space. That's more stuff you can hoard. I mean, it. Trust me, you'll get into hoarding really quick in this. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to say, uh, first of all, welcome, Nintendo Switch players. You're going to have a blast in this game. You're really going to enjoy it. And create your own adventure. That's the key play. And, guys, that's No Man's Sky 4.0 update. And before I forget, I did tell you I was going to tell you what I'm going to be doing. For Nintendo Switch users, since they're going to be new to this game, I'm going to do a little mini-series. I'm going to start a brand new game for the Nintendo Switch users. And I'm going to show them step by step how to get all the way up to the free to explore the universe and the galaxies. So stay tuned for those videos to come out. And until then guys, this is the Gaming Cam. Signing off, and you guys to fly safe and welcome Nintendo Switch users. <laughs>